Today in our 2008 Toyota RAV4, we'll be having a look at our best hitch options. Okay, we have three different hitches here today. Up top, we have the eTrailer.com Class 3. In the middle, we have the Draw Tight Class 3. And on the bottom, we have the Kurt Class 3. First, we'll give you a brief summary about the differences between our hitches. As far as weight capacity goes, we found the Draw Tight hitch to be the winner here because it does have the highest weight capacity of our three hitches. As far as towing goes, we found the draw tight hitch to be the winner here because it does have a few additional features such as the larger safety chain openings and the electrical bracket being welded on that serves as an attachment point. The first biggest difference that we noticed between our three hitches here today is in regards to weight capacity. Our draw tight hitch, the one here in the middle, this has the highest weight capacities of all three of our hitches. It has a max tongue weight rating of 675 pounds and a max gross trailer weight rating of 4,500 pounds. It supports the use of weight distribution, but those numbers don't change. Whereas with our e-trailer and our Kurt hitch, these both feature a max tongue weight rating of 525 pounds and a max gross trailer weight rating of 3,500 pounds. They also support the use of weight distribution their tongue weight rating remains the same at 525 pounds. The max gross trailer rating, however, does increase to 4,000 pounds. So you can see how the draw tight hitch here in the middle does have higher capacities all around. And this is important because with the draw tight hitch, we have the ability to support more weight on our vehicle. Whether that be with us using a cargo carrier or a bike rack if we're loading it up with e-bikes, which are significantly heavier than a standard bicycle, or if we wanted to tow a trailer with a higher tongue weight. This gives us the ability to do so. As always, we want to make sure we do consult with the owner's manual of the RAV4 and not exceed what the vehicle's rated for. We want to go by whichever number is less. Now the next difference that we noticed is in regards to towing. Our draw tight hitch here has a few additional features which are kind of nice. We have this bracket, which is welded onto our hitch, and this serves as an attachment point for any of our wiring harnesses that we may need when we're towing our trailer, whether it be a four pole flat or seven way RV connector. If you're towing a trailer, you have to have functional lights. Having a place where you can actually mount your wiring permanently is a nice feature. Keep in mind, we can still do the same with the Kurt hitch and the e-trailer hitch by purchasing a bracket, which we have available on our website, and it'll clamp around your hitch to give you a nice permanent solution to mount all of your wiring. Another difference that we notice in regards to towing is that our draw tight hitch has a different style of safety chain loops. We have this plate style design, which is a very substantial piece of metal with a very large opening that we can easily hook on a very large diameter safety chain hook like this one, and we also can easily remove it. Now with our Kurt and our e-trailer hitch, we have a tubular steel safety chain loop, which has a little bit smaller opening. As you can see, we can still clip on the large hook, but we have less room to move it around. And it's also a little bit closer to our hitch pin hole. Now, one minor difference that we've noticed in regards to recreational use, our draw tight hitch does have an additional pin hole here, and that's for a J-pin stabilization device. What that does is take away some of that annoying shake plane rattle out of what's inserted into your receiver. Now, a lot of bike racks and cargo carriers have anti-rattle devices already built into them, but if yours does not, a J-pin stabilization device will help you out there. Now, while our Kurt and our e-trailer hitch, they don't have a J-pin hole, they do support alternate methods of anti-rattle devices. We have several different options available for you on our website with those, so just keep that in mind as well. Now, as far as similarities go, all three of these hitches are going to allow you to either tow a trailer, use a bike rack, or use a cargo carrier. They all are class three hitches, which gives you the most variety of hitch accessories on the market. There's far more class three accessories for the two inch opening than there are for the inch and a quarter opening. Now, all three of these hitches are gonna look very similar on the vehicle. The only real difference that we notice between the three is with the finish on the eTrailer.com hitch. It has a matte black carbide powder coat finish, which is a little bit more scratch and rust resistant than your standard gloss black powder coat finish that our other hitches have. If we have a look over at the RAV4 that we have in here today, you can see that we have the draw tight hitch installed. Notice the difference with the safety chain loops on it here. All three of our hitches are gonna look basically identical to this one on the vehicle. 
They're all gonna sit in the same manner with the same general shape. And they're all gonna have a lot of clearance around the receiver opening from the back bumper. So we don't have to worry about any interference with bike racks or cargo carriers. All three of our hitches are gonna provide us with a really super easy installation. There's no drilling required. They'll utilize existing weld nuts in your vehicle's frame. And the only modification you may have to do on your vehicle is if you have an appearance panel that's present on the driver's side, you may have to do a little bit of trimming on it. Now, in my personal opinion, if I owned a Toyota RAV4 and I was looking to buy a hitch for it, I'd be leaning towards the draw tight hitch myself just because it does have the highest capacities. I don't have to worry about buying another bracket to mount any of my wiring for my trailer. And I like the larger style safety chain openings on it. It's a little easier to use. And that'll complete our look at the best hitch options for the Toyota RAV4. We hope you find this video helpful and informative in your trailer hitch purchasing decision.